YouTube world back at it once again, Instant Classic 8. Another movie review. Uh, it's currently Friday. I just got home from the theater. Um, I went to go see, of course, Suicide Squad, which just opened up uh, this week. Um, really quickly, the DC, so the DCCU, I guess is what they call it, or DCU, the, the DC Cinematic Universe, it gets a lot of flack. Um, they haven't had the greatest of runs, um, at least with the cinematic universe. Obviously, the Dark Knight trilogy was widely praised. Everyone loved those movies, especially the Dark Knight. I, I personally thought the Dark Knight Rises was better, uh, but I still enjoyed like pretty much all those movies. Um, Man of Steel was the first one in the cinematic universe. Um, I personally thought Man of Steel was a, a good movie. Um I know it got a lot of flat people saying it was a pretty boring Superman movie, but I, I thought it was better than Superman Returns, personally. Um, and, of course, the big deal of uh, this past um, spring, uh, Batman versus Superman being released and pretty much being universally panned by critics and the audience. Uh, because of that, I did not go see Batman versus Superman in the theaters. I just... You know, I normally don't listen to the reviews, especially like when it comes to tonight. I normally don't listen to reviews, but there was just way too many people saying that movie was terrible. I didn't see that version of the movie. I just watched Batman vs. Superman last week. I believe it was last week I watched it. I bought it on iTunes. I bought the Ultimate Edition. And um, it was a long movie for sure. It was like three hours long. But I really really enjoyed it um i won't say really but i thought it was a good movie um definitely you know cut it down some but it was a r-rated batman movie superman movie you saw like a lot of stuff that you would normally see in a batman movie that that was pretty cool and i thought the story was fine and you know definitely nitpicks here and there that i didn't enjoy but overall i thought the movie was i thought the movie was good um then tonight you know we just saw suicide squad um, I'm gonna not really spoil much in here. Um, as far as the movie, I didn't care for it. Um, not even listening to the reviews. Of course, the reviews came out earlier this week. People were saying it was a boring movie. It was a messy movie. Then you have the director defending it. Then you got Jared Leto coming out saying that a lot of his scenes were cut. Uh, just a big mess and a big PR disaster, to be honest with you. But... Uh, last night was the the premiere, the release, and a lot of my friends that saw it, they pretty much texted me and said, hey, it was a decent movie. I didn't hate it. You know, I think the critics were wrong. You should definitely go check it out. And because of that, I was going to go see it. So saw it tonight, and again, I didn't think it was all that good. Um, it was very messy. Um, it started out strong with introducing some of the characters. Um, they really only focused on Will Smith and Margaret Robbie, if I say her name right. Um, they only focused on their characters. Um, I did like how, you know, they were like the first two characters introduced. And one of the songs that was used, I can't remember what it is, but one of the songs that was used in this movie was also used in a big scene in the movie that Smith and uh, Robbie had a movie together, which was called, not to say Hitch. It wasn't Hitch. What was it called? Um, he was like a con artist. Focus, focus, very good soundtrack, by the way. Um, but yeah, they used the song in this movie that they used from that movie, I thought was pretty cool. Um, Joker did not have a lot of scenes. Um, again, Jared Leto came out, said a lot of his scenes were cut. He didn't really have much screen time here, maybe a total of what 10 minutes, maybe. It's a two hour movie, he maybe got 10 minutes total time on screen. Um, the characters were, you know. Where where they were, were. Um, I I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. There was one, um, I forgot the guy's name. He was a Hispanic guy who pretty much shot fire with his hands. I kind of was into his character, but pretty much everyone else I didn't like. I did not care for Killer Croc. They made him into a complete... (laughs) I'm trying to stay PC with my wording here, but he was your typical dude in the hood. Like... Who requests BET to whatever? Just a horrible character. I did not care for it at all. 
overall, I'm going to say don't see this movie. At least not in theaters. Um, um, if you can hold off or you can maybe see it like on HBO or something for free. Or, you know, I don't know if someone like, gets a bootleg or something on there. But, of course, all these sites are out there. I just, I wouldn't pay money to see this movie. I didn't think it was very good. Uh, they had a teaser at the end, which was uh, basically teasing Justice League. I've still yet to see Justice League uh, trailer, Wonder Woman trailer. Um, but, yeah, here, here's the thing. My last movie review was Ghostbusters, and I thought this was a better movie. No, I'm sorry. I thought Ghostbusters was a better movie than um, than this one, than Suicide Squad. Personally, that's just how I feel. Um, so let me know what you think if you saw Suicide Squad. If you're going to see it, let me know what you think. Until then, I missed the class skate. Peace.